groundbreaking discovery that could be the most important for centuries. Now on BBC One, as David Attenborough explains. A team of top scientists have been secretly studying a unique fossil. This fossil will probably be the one that will be pictured in all textbooks for the next hundred years. They believe it could be one of our earliest primate ancestors. Well, it's really a kind of Rosetta Stone because it ties together parts we haven't been able to associate before. Have they found our oldest complete primate ancestor? The fossil has more information in it than in any fossil I've ever seen. Their research has stunned the world. In the moment when the results of our investigations will be published, this will be just like an asteroid hitting the Earth. Forty-seven million years ago, the dinosaurs were already long extinct. It's the time when the blueprints for modern mammals were being established. Dense tropical rainforests cover the earth. They're home to small primates. Among them is an ancestor to us all. For almost 200 years, scientists have searched for links to our prehistoric past. The search has concentrated in East Africa, known as the cradle of mankind. Here in the 1970s, they found the link between apes and man. It offered conclusive proof that we started walking upright 3.2 million years ago. A human ancestor, a female, Lucy. Then in 1984, the remains of a boy were found. Material evidence that 1.5 million years ago, humans had already lost their hair and taken their first steps onto the open savannah. Scientists have long hoped that the Earth might eventually yield an even more ancient fossil that links apes, man and all the other primates to the earliest mammals on Earth. This could be it. A fossil so ancient it could shine a light deeper into our history than ever before. And so detailed it could help science reveal the origins of every person on the planet. This fossil is so complete, everything's there. It's unheard of in the primate fossil record at all. You have to get to human burial to see something that's this complete. This is, this is really, really the most complete fossil primate ever. World-renowned fossil expert, Dr. Jörn Hurrum of Oslo University has spent his life scouring the earth for important fossils. But the most incredible specimen of them all, the one that would change his life, took him totally by surprise. It was in December 2006 at the annual Hamburg Fossil Fair. Here the tables were laden with beautiful examples of fossils and minerals to catch the public eye. But Jörn didn't expect to find something for his museum on a stall. The best specimens are never shown on a show. Uh, they are always what we call under the table. So you need to know the dealers to be shown the really, really, really good things. The dealer, Thomas Perner, 
promised an extraordinary find. When the dealer told me in the middle of the day at the mineral show in Hamburg that I should join him for a drink because he wanted to show me something, I knew that it was something special. And then he showed me some photographs and I was completely stunned. And I didn't sleep for two nights after that <laughs> because uh, I knew that uh, what, I, what I'd seen it was probably the, the most beautiful fossil I ever going to see in my whole life. Jörn made a home video of the very first moment he came face to face with the fossil. <laughs> oh. This is the best oh. fossil and rarest fossil worldwide. Yeah. Wow. Oh. oh. It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Complete foot and two complete hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, uh, <sighs> Wow! <laughs> yes! Jörn believed he had stumbled across a 47 million year old treasure. The perfectly preserved skeleton of a small creature, more complete than he could ever hope for. But his joy may be short-lived. International fossil dealing is a cutthroat business. Jörn must act swiftly if he wants to save it for science. The thing about important fossils, there's a big black market. And there's a lot of private collectors, like with art and other things. So a lot of important specimens are still locked in the basement of some rich guy or something like that. So it needs to be in a public museum to be studied. The asking price is over one million dollars. Jörn's got to be certain it's a genuine fossil and not a forgery. He has it scientifically examined. You can fake an outer surface of bone that looks really real, but you cannot fake the inner structure of a bone. It's impossible. So getting an x-ray, you can see the inside of the bone. You can see actually the, the, the bone marrow inside. We know that it's 100% a real fossil. There is no doubt at all. The x-rays prove this fossil is genuine. The necessary funds were secured and Jörn shipped it home. In Norway's capital city, Oslo, in his museum lab, Jörn finally gets to properly investigate his new treasure. This is so complete that you cannot even in your dreams wish for something being 47 million years old and this complete. Usually, we only find teeth, broken parts of jaws and small bones from the middle foot, maybe some toes and so on. Just single small bones from these animals this uh, long ago. Astonishingly, this fossil is not just bone. Its level of preservation is extraordinary. Here, here's an imprint of uh, of the bacteria that grew on the fur. So actually you can see how much fur was there. You cannot see the muscles or anything like that, but you can see an outline of the body that's bigger than just a skeleton. You can actually see where the fur covered the animal and how thick the fur was. This unique fossil is so detailed that it immediately reveals important information to Jörn. The first thing I recognized was the big toe, standing up like this, 90 degrees to the rest of the foot. And if you look very careful to all the, both the fingers and the toes, you can see that they were nails and not 